we're going to find x and y intercepts from this equation right here. I would like to start with the x intercepts. So let's begin there. So what does an x intercept look like? I'll draw a bunch of them right here. They all have one thing in common. All of them have their y coordinates equal to zero. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to do up here. We're going to set y equal to zero and then solve for x. So y is zero. So when we solve for x, x appears in two places. It's once there and once there. I don't like fractions. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is multiply by the denominator by two x plus four. Now I'm multiplying it on the right side and the left side, the entire equation. Zero times anything is zero. So if you notice, basically the denominator just disappeared. Now why does this make sense? Algebraically it makes sense because we just distributed right here and canceled out. Uh, this makes sense numerically because when is a fraction, if I had a simpler fraction, a over b equals zero, when does that equal zero? It equals zero exactly when a equals zero. And that's exactly what's happening in our fraction. We're just saying the numerator must be zero. All right, how to solve for x? Two steps. x has two friends. Who's going first? If you're ever unsure, if you're unsure doing algebra, you're going to go up the PEMDAS ladder. So we got addition, subtraction. So how do I get rid of this minus seven? You unsubtract seven, you add seven to both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and add seven to both sides. So zero plus seven is seven and minus equals minus five x. Now we have to un, we have to get x's last friend out of here. So how do you get this negative times five? You multiply by negative one fifth or divide by negative five. So you have seven divided by five and it's negative. So that's your x coordinate of your x intercept. If they want a decimal, this is the decimal Same information as a coordinate, also known as a point. You're going to state the x and the y uh, coordinate. So the x coordinate is negative 7 fifths, just like before. What's the y coordinate? It's written on the page. One of the first things we wrote, y is 0. So it just depends on how the format of your answer needs to be. You want a decimal, a number, or you want a coordinate or a point. All right, that's x-intercept. We're gonna get y-intercept now. And we're gonna start by drawing a bunch of y-intercepts. Now a function is never gonna have more than one y-intercept because it wouldn't be a function. But if there were more than one y-intercept, they'd all look like that. What do they all have in common? All their x-coordinates are zero. So we're gonna do very similar to what we did last time. The only difference is we're gonna set x equal to zero. All right, I'm gonna copy down the original equation without doing anything. And then on the next line, what I'm gonna do is write down what I'm doing, set x equal to zero, and the result, y, doesn't change. Uh, x appears twice, so it's gonna get a zero and a zero negative five times zero minus seven divided by two times zero plus four. Of course, those are both zero, so we get negative seven over four. And that's it for y. Usually your y-intercept is easier to find with less algebra. X-intercepts can be tricky, and in chapter three they'll be very tricky. So this is as a decimal number. And if we wanted to write as a coordinate, our x value is zero, it's the top of the screen, y value negative 7 fourths. This is as a coordinate.